Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today I found a pretty cool endgame with Queen and the Rook against the Queen and the Rook. So no pawns left, the kings are really exposed. So of course it's all about getting the initiative and keeping it. So white can win this, but as always there's only one variation leading to victory for white. And the question is, can you find this one on your own? So pause the video now and see if you can solve this. Uh, when you return, I will go through all variations. Go ahead. And welcome back. Okay, so what are we looking at? Well, obviously, if we just move our king somewhere, we are handing over the initiative to black and it will be a sure loss, loss actually. So the king cannot be moved. The rook cannot check anywhere, so not much we can do. And uh, let me just look at this. Uh, of course, we're always looking for cool sacrifices, but this is not the time. Black can simply take it, even if we get a check here. Well, he can escape to f8 or h8, doesn't matter. Let's go to h8. Uh, King f8 is actually better, but this is easier to show. How we can block us out and we are not getting anywhere from this okay so the queen has to be moved and we have to check we have to give a check in order to stay on uh, on the run here and getting the initiative and this uh, queen g2 check looks good because then we can open up for our uh, rook of course if black goes to uh, the h file we follow up with a check like this but actually, queen g2 check is losing. Black now will play king f8. And we have no more checks unless we want to put the queen here or here and just uh, sacrifice it, which doesn't lead to anything. And if we're handing over the initiative to black, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be trouble. So the only possible move left that checks and keep initiative is the key move queen g1 check okay so what can black do now let's first look here i mean he has uh, three options uh, or yeah he can put his rook in between in which case we we'll take it with a checkmate so that's not good okay what happens after king f8 white has a very very beautiful win here can you see it I think you saw it. Now the queen sacrifice is very beautiful and very brutal. Queen c5 check. And we are also threatening his queen. And if it takes it, well, then it's a checkmate here. You can put some pieces in between, but it's going to be checkmate in a couple of moves. So that's winning right away. He can put his rook here and check, so we cannot take the queen, but... Of course, this is uh, just winning shortly. King comes here, checkmate, or the king comes here, and we will follow up with rook g1, and the queen comes to h2, and that's a checkmate. Soon enough. Okay, so king has to go to the h5. King h7 is not good. That's pretty obvious. We have a check here, and we follow up with the rook checkmate, or some pieces in between perhaps but it's going to be checkmate soon so the king has to go to h8 and now how do we win this again it's only one move winning and that is queen has to check on h2 not h1 what happens with h1 then you can put the rook in between and we are out of moves and we're out of initiative and this is not good so the queen has to come to h2 instead. Of course, if black moves his king, well, then we have rook g1 check, followed by queen down here, and we're winning in a couple of moves. So the rook comes to h7. And this is perhaps where the actual study begins, because now it's getting pretty tricky. How do white win from here? I think you should pause the video again and analyze this again and see if you can find the victory for white, for white from here. Go ahead. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. So, as I said, this is really getting complicated now. 
the first uh, thing we can look at is uh, to play rook b8 and win the queen because we pin it. But this only leads to a, a queen exchange. Our queen is hanging. We'll take his. He come up to h7 and from here it's a dead draw. We cannot do anything more than uh, from this situation actually. You can look at it yourself but we're not getting anywhere. So that's a draw. So there's actually only two other moves that are interesting here. And this one looks like a fantastic move but it's not winning to play queen e5. It's very good uh, thinking here. We are uh, threatening a discovered check. We're also threatening to play rook b8, pinning the queen. Uh, so if there's some random move moving the king away, well, then rook b8 will win it for us. If he tries to block the uh, this diagonal with his rook, well, we can play rook b8 also, but rook h1 will also win pretty quick something like this and we will get the rook in there so uh, that looks good but black has a very good defense in queen f8 check and now if we move the king to the g g file somewhere then black will simply play queen g7 with a check with the queen exchange and then we are having a draw and if we try to move the king to e6 with the discovered check and also threatening this at the same time it looks very very good but again there is one defense for black you cannot put anything on on uh, g7 uh, if the queen comes here or if the rook comes here it both will be met by uh, rook b8 and uh, win for us but they can actually just move the king and now maybe this looks good with rook b8, but it's actually losing because of rook e7 check. He will get our queen with a uh, tempo move. It will be a check uh, unless we go here and then it will simply take this one and we are losing. So after king g8, we cannot rook play rook b8. We can try uh, this, but this is actually just a draw looks pretty good but the, our king here is really in our way and we are not getting any further with this uh, attack from here it's just a draw so at this position here then after rook h7 there is one winning move and that winning move is queen b8 that's how we progress this uh, we are pinning the uh, queen, and of course, he cannot exchange it. We take back with checkmate. So that's not possible. He tries to move the queen maybe to safety on g8. Doesn't matter. We still take it, and uh, it's a checkmate anyway. So the queen cannot be moved here. Here. And of course, the king cannot be moved. We will simply take the queen. The rook has to be moved. Either check here or protect the queen by playing rook c7. So let's start with uh, the check here. It's uh, just a tempo move, trying to force our king away, but it's pretty easy victory after we play king g5. We are attacking the rook, meaning we still cannot exchange this one. We will exchange the king. Well, let's look at it. We just take back. Even if the king comes up to protect the rook, we will just give a check and force the king down, and then we take the rook. So it's not possible. So after king g5, actually, there are no other good moves for black than playing rook c6. So in either way, he has to go to the c file to protect his queen. But the difference here to put them on the c6 is that it allows us to really get our queen into the action like this a check here and it's pretty easy win of course the king cannot come here it will be a checkmate like this and up here so the king has to go to g8 right away and then we simply play 
rook b8 and we pin the queen and we win it like that so from uh, here rook h6 is not good enough has to be played rook c7 it protects the queen and it also blocks everything here from uh, from our queen coming out but of course we are still winning and i know it's a long study but it just keeps getting better so how do white win from here well there's no point in exchanging of course instead we have to uh, take advantage of the fact that we're now getting our rook more into action rook h1 check is the winning move uh, king g8 is more or less forced put the rook in between we simply take his queen so it's not good and after that we will play queen b3 check just keep attacking the king and you see of course you cannot move it it will be checkmate in one so here black is forced to really put his rook in between i cannot put it on f7 either of course we just take it and here okay so long study as i said now how do we win this from here as white well we cannot uh, try to pin i mean the the rook is already pinned and if we try to overload it like this it's just losing it will be a check and we will lose our rook not good and this is also too slow start checking with the queen somewhere and he will really just checking our naked king like this and will get us nowhere actually sooner or later we will lose our rook and we will lose this so we have to again keep being aggressive we need to give another check and the check we need to give is rook g1 now the black king can come to three squares either to f8 or anywhere on the h file let's start looking at king f8 still there's only one variation all the time only one move that wins for white can you see it we need to play queen a3 check the king cannot move other than here if he wants to move and then it's of course checkmate in one so he doesn't want to do that so we have to put something in between we cannot put rook here we will simply take it something has to go to c5 okay if he puts the rook on c5 again only one variation wins this and here it comes do you see it now beautiful rook sacrifice rook g8 check force to take and we we'll follow up with queen g3 if it moves anywhere here there will be a checkmate right away on uh, g7 putting something in between doesn't help him sooner or later we'll have to go there and it's a check and it will be a checkmate like this fantastic okay so what about queen c5 then again can you find the only winning move for white we play queen a8 check force move queen c8 and again another beautiful rook sacrifice rook g8 check this is such a beautiful variation king has to take we follow up with queen d5 check now we're forcing him to the h file otherwise it will be a checkmate here and of course we can checkmate now in different places like this something like this it will be a checkmate on g7 in the end so that's how you win after the king rook let's see after rook g1 check and if the king comes to f8 setting up for a beautiful rook sacrifice on g8 after a while okay so what happens if it goes to the h5 instead king h7 that's a 
fairly easy win for uh, white you can check uh, in different places i think uh, queen d3 check is the, the best one forcing the king up here and you see where this is going checkmate like this something so king h7 that's unnecessary for black of course he wants to stay in the corner note that uh, we cannot go to h3 with a check because it's still uh, protected by the queen so we have to do something smarter here okay what is the smartest move here the only really winning we, we can go back and forward here and get the same variation but then we will have to find this move and the winning move and this is the last variation we're looking at it's queen b2 now we're setting up for this beautiful discovered check they can check us if they want let's look at anything random like this yes king e6 check and king moves we can check up here anywhere and we just get the queen to h1 let's see if the black can do something else after queen b2 uh i mean moving the king right away is not good we move the queen down so now he's not covered he can come to the h file and that's a victory from there so actually after queen b2 there's nothing really black can do let's see if it tries to get down his uh, rook to do something good let's give a check if the rook comes to h7 then we can do some different things but quickest is just to actually exchange here and as you see we will be checkmated like this and if the king comes to g8 now we're getting both of these files here which means it's going to be a checkmate soon enough like this Pooh, sorry for the long video i really like this i didn't realize how long it's going to be when i started it but i had to finish and if you stayed with me to the end i hope you enjoyed this really really complex study it is really beautiful, I think. This is the starting position, and there's only one move all the time that wins this for white, and it's fantastic. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.